Good morning guys, how are we doing? Today is the 9th of July. It's 5.30 in the morning. I've only just got my butt up. I've been sitting in bed for the last hour going five more minutes. Uh, but I've been sitting there, you know, with the lights on and, you know, watching videos and stuff. And one thing occurred to me, because I was looking through um, a couple of groups I belong to on Facebook as well, a couple of homesteading groups, and some people on there are really, really, they're great. A lot of people are great. And then there's others that are like, really? Um, judgy. Um, really judgy. Which, it's like, hang on a second. Aren't we all in this together? Aren't we all doing what we're doing? Didn't we all start somewhere? We all started somewhere, right? You guys know my dream. I've told you my dream. There's a lot more to my dream. But you know the gist of it. And right now, we're in a place where we're living in a government apartment. <sighs> that if I wanted to swing the cat, I couldn't swing it in. That all our stuff we do is in containers. It's in a little, little cat container patch. And in the polytunnel out the front, where we risk it being vandalised and stolen every day, because that's where we live. And we're not allowed to dig up any of the beds, but we cleared out one of the flower beds they did. We might have expanded it a little bit wider to tidy it up. And we might be using that. No one said we couldn't. In fact, we're encouraged to. Okay, cool. So we do it. My point is this, we're all where we're at. And instead of picking on people and making them feel bad about the fact that they've finally grown a broccoli, <laughs> After four years of trying, you know, they didn't give up. They tried it. They did it. We've all been there. Trust me, we've all been there. Out of all the brassicas that I planted last year, I got one romesco, which had already run to seed. <laughs> and about two months worth on and off of sprouting broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli, that was it. So I went a bit overkill this year, as some of you may have already realised. <laughs> because I didn't want to miss out. I'm sick of missing out. Anywho, I've got loads to do today. I've got, you know, but the point is, right, I'm, I know I'm digressing and I'm, it's 5.30, come on. But we're all at the place we are at. We need to be holding each other up, not tearing each other down. You know, we all started somewhere. Not all of us are lucky enough to have been like generational farmers or homesteaders or whatever. Not all of us are. I've done it before, I've done it twice before. And I've still found myself back here. Doesn't make me any less than anybody else who's trying. Doesn't make me any more than anybody else who's trying. It just means that we're all trying. And we're doing our best with what we've got. You know, not everyone can go out and work full time. I can't. I'm not allowed. As much as I would love to, I can tell you that now. But even I know my limits. And unfortunately, right now, until I can stand for more than 10 minutes without losing my legs or shaking violently, it's not gonna happen. 
I would love to go back to chefing. I really, really would. I would. It was my life. 26 years it was my life. But obviously, I'm being moved on to bigger and better things. Who knew? And you're like, but blue. <laughs> How can it be bigger and better if it's smaller and not so abundant? Well, let me tell you something about abundance. This is where a lot of people get very mixed up. Abundance isn't always about money. Abundance is about things like this. Things like this. Things like this. This is abundance. This right here, this is abundance. This olive tree is covered in future abundance. This is abundance. That is abundance. The nettle patch is abundance. The blueberries, covered in abundance. This bed here, covered in brassicas, all sorts of different brassicas. And squash plants, zucchini plants, all sorts. The herb bed down the bottom, that's all abundance. We've even got free abundance. With those blackberries there, which I will be taking cuttings off before we move because they are the best damn <laughs> blackberries I have ever tasted. Abundance. It's the friends that I'm making because of doing this. Abundance is the friends that have followed me on the journey. Abundance is the people who, from other walks of my life, have gone, actually, what you're doing is pretty bloody amazing. It doesn't have to be about what's in your bank. It's about what's around you and what you see. And when you change your mindset and start seeing those things, that's when everything else starts to change. One way you can do that, and this is a scientific thing, might sound a bit kooky and weird and what have you, but it's actually scientific and it's neuroscience. Strange but true. You can create neural pathways in your head. New ones in your brain to take over from the old ones. It takes 21 days. 28 days to make it stick forever. So when we create a new habit, that's what happens. We create this new habit, it takes over. So I want you to do something. I want you for the next 28 days to think of three things that you are grateful for. That's all it is. Three things that you're grateful for every morning. First thing, when you wake up, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for being able to get out of bed this morning. I'm grateful for that because there are some days where I just it ain't gonna happen. But I got out of bed this morning and I'm grateful for that. I got to sit in bed for a couple of minutes and actually listen to the dawn chorus of the birds. I am so grateful for that. You know, I wake up early enough that I can hear that. So many people miss it. But I'm grateful because I heard it. I am grateful. For just being able to get up, have my eyes open, and be breathing this morning. Because so many people just aren't doing that right now. That should be. And they're not. You know? And I'm one of the lucky ones. I really am. So I'm grateful for that. And those are my three things I'm grateful for this morning. What are you grateful for? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're grateful for today. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go.
I have things to do. A tanny to kick off the couch and put to bed. <laughs> Beers and gaming, people. Beers and gaming. That's what happens. Anywho, I'm gonna go. I love you guys heaps. See you later. Bye-bye. Blessings.